हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यर यूट्यूब चैनल थर्ड आई मीडिया ड्यू टू सम पर्सनल रीजन्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू अपलोड प्रीवियस डेज करंट अफेयर्स सो वी विल डिस्कस डे वन बाई वन सो वील डिस्कस ऑल द करंट अफेयर्स विच वी आर एक्चुअली डेल्ट इन द प्रीवियस न्यूज पेपर्स सो फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विथ ट्वेंटी एथ मार्च सो नेशनल करंट अफेयर्स सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट इश्यूज समन्स टू रामदेव इन पतंजलि मिसलीडिंग एट्स केस The Supreme Court on Tuesday asked self-styled yoga guru Baba Ramdev to personally appear in a contempt case initiated against Patanjali Ayurved for publishing misleading advertisements in violation of the Drugs and Magic Remedies Objectionable Advice Advertisements Act 1954 despite an undertaking given to the court in last November November last year the bench further directed Acharya Balakrishna the managing director of patanjali ayurved to be present in the court along with baba ramdev for the next hearing on april 2 it's not a very rare case previously also they were given same type of warning by the supreme court so next jharkhand governor jharkhand governor to be in charge of telangana the president draupadi murmu on wednesday gave jharkhand governor cp radhakrishnan additional charge of telangana and puducherry she also accepted the resignation of tamil sai saundara rajan she also accepted the resignation of tamil sai saundara rajan the president of india is also pleased to appoint shri cp radhakrishnan so he is presently governor of jharkhand to discharge the functions of the governor of telangana as well as lieutenant governor of puducherry in addition to its own duties until regular arrangements are made so temporarily he is now going to be the governor of telangana as well as he will be in charge of lieutenant governor of puducherry because puducherry is a union territory next topic is incois and wills coastal water quality monitoring system scientists at the indian national center for ocean information services ocean information services this incois is nothing but your this is the full form of incois okay under the ministry of earth sciences so this incois comes under ministry of earth sciences have made functional at functional a first of its kind water quality now casting system for environmental monitoring and forecasting the east and west sea coast lines the state of the art monitoring system intends to check both the natural influence and the impact of industrial effluents urbanization river discharge and agriculture runoff on the water quality of the indian coastline covering range of environmental conditions and tourist intensive zones basically it's going to can check the water quality water quality of the indian ocean system it is done with the help of moored boys moored boys equipped with buoys sorry moored buoys moored buoys equipped with different physio bio uh, physio bio geochemical sensors data telemetry systems integrated with satellite based observations for real time data transmission to land so buoys are uh, buoys concept are also discussed in many movies i can give a better best example is battleship in battleship movies we can hear about this buoys concept how actually they are working in us army how this uh, chinese army is making use of this buoys the team of scientists from goa based uh, from goa based national institute of oceanography and incois spearheaded by group director tm balakrishnan nayar took up the project which involved positioning of buoys at critical locations at visakhapatnam on the east coast and kochi kerala on the west coast the continuous real time data generated from these mode bu- buoys mode buoys sorry i am not able to pronounce it properly buoys observations act as sentinels of the sea as a cutting edge sensors measure of measure a plethora of 22 water quality parameters like measuring speed and direction of uh, measuring speed and direction of surface currents salinity temperature ph levels dissolved oxygen phycocyanin physo uh, phycoerythrin phycoerythrin colored dissolved organic matter chlorophyll uh, turbidity uh, turbidity dissolved methane hydrocarbon crude and refined scattering pco2 and inorganic macronutrients like nitrate nitrite ammonium phosphate and silicate said dr naya clear so next topic is railways earned 12000 uh, sorry 1230 crore from cancelled waiting list tickets in span of 3 years reply to the rta query shows that the number of such cancellations rose from 
253 crore in 2021 to 5.16 crore in 2020. So most of the cancellation, the ticket cancellations was raised from 253 to 253 crore to 5.16 crore people have cancelled it. So former officials call for recalibration of weighted weighted list wait listed slots that are on offer. The Indian Railways clocked earnings of rupees 1229.85 crore from cancelled waiting list tickets between 2021 and 24 till January. So this much amount it has actually this much profit that it has gained, the railways has gained during this period just uh, based on waiting list tickets. A response to a query under the Right to Information Act has revealed. It is very clear that with limited capacity, the railway is unable to cater to demand. They should gauge the demand pattern and avoid offering too many waiting list tickets. For instance, for instance, let us take an Indian coach, an 18 coach train has 720 seats in the sleeper compartment and the railway allots a waiting list of 600. There will be no scope for accommodating such a larger number. The tickets are bound to get cancelled, so they should recalibrate their waiting list three shoulds. Means, instead of having 720 seats, um, in a, among 720 seats, almost half of the seats might have already filled. So, remaining for example, consists 500 seats have been filled, we are left out with, it, so with 220 seats. Now, for 220 seats, it is, it is giving a waiting list of 600. Means, only for, the, for those 220 seats, only again a 220 members can be accommodated. So what about the remaining people? So they are actually cancelling their tickets, which is actually giving a lots of revenue to railways. If an RAC or wait, wait listed tickets cancelled, then 260 per passenger is deducted from the refund. So 260 is cancelled uh, from the main ticket, 260 is taken as a refund. So it is given as a refund. E-tickets bought online through IRCTC also attract a service charge that is not refunded when cancelled. Obviously, we will get a recharge, right? We get a service charge when we are actually booking our tickets through IRCTC app. The service charge is 134 air-conditioned classes. In case the ticket is booked using net banking or through debit card or credit cards and 220 per ticket if booked through UPI. For non-AC classes, the charge is 415 per ticket net banking or card and 210 per ticket booked using UPL. So this is how actually railways is trying to earn economy by, we can't tell that it is actually cheating the passengers, but it is actually making the transportation through railways more costlier when compared to previous years. Next, Supreme Court directs states to give ration cards to 8 crore workers. The Supreme Court on Tuesday took exception to the delays in the implementation of its April 2023 order to provide ration cards to about 8 crore migrant workers registered in the eShrum portal. Very important. So these, these uh, migrant workers shall be registered on the eShrum portal but not covered under National Food Security Act. The portal has 28.6 crore registrants of this 20.63 crore are registered on ration card data. Next, 2023 was the hottest year on record confirms WMO. In line with observations by climate agencies, the World Meteorological Organization has officially confirmed 2023 to be the hottest year on record. The State of Global Climate Report, important, State of Global Climate Report published on Tuesday stated that the global average near surface temperature was 1.45 degrees Celsius with a margin of uncertainty of plus 0.12 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial baseline. It was the warmest 10-year period on record. The previous joint warmest years were 2016 at 1.29 divided by 0.12 degrees Celsius above the 1850 to 1900 average and 2020 at 1.27 to 0.3 degree, 0.13 degree Celsius. Next, Zomato brings pure wedge fleet draws criticism from, publi from public. Food delivery platform Zomato on Tuesday launched a pure veg delivery fleet that would deliver orders from the restaurants that do not serve meat, fish or egg based dishes. The fleet's personnel are shown in promotional images wearing green uniforms and with green boxes on their bikes. This created a lot of criticism in the public. I, we should see further. So further this was actually get this particular veg fleet has been cancelled also. We will, let, uh, we will let you know the next current of a session. 21.6 million people engaged in forced labor in 2021. Indian labor organization is telling, international labor organization is telling. 
a study by the ILO that is nothing but International Labour Organization released in Geneva on Tuesday has found that forced labour generates illegal profits worth 36 dollar 36 million dollar per year for the study surveys have been conducted among workers including indians in saudi arabia and qatar the report titled profits and poverty the economics of forced labor also estimates that traffickers and criminals are generating close to 10000 dollar per victim upon from 8216 dollar a decade ago previously they used to earn 8,216, but now they are earning something called as $10,000 per victim. Total annual illegal profits from forced. It perpetuates cycle of poverty and strikes at the heart of human dignity, says report. So, definitely forced labor has been increased in many countries now. Labor are highest in, labor are highest in Europe and Central Asia. That is 84 billion, followed by Asia and the Pacific, 862 billion. Americas, 52 billion. Africa 20 billion and Arab states 18 billion the report said the report also said forced commercial sexual exploitation accounts for more than two-thirds of the total illegal profits illegal profits despite accounting for only 27 percent of the total number of victims in privately imposed labor there were 27.6 million people engaged engaged in forced labor on an on any given day in the 2021 the report said meaning 3.5 people for every thousand people in the world between 2016 and 2021, the number of people in forced labor increased by 2.7 million. You must, uh, you might be asking me that, so why should we all read these facts uh, about this report? Means when you are writing a uh, answer or an SO, essay, when you are writing an essay, when you are writing on uh, writing an essay on uh, human trafficking, so you can actually include the uh, what you call as uh, facts about this particular report in your what you call as in your answer, it will definitely uh, fetch you uh, much greater results. So next topic is food prices deterring inflation's fall. RBI officials stress need, need to keep monetary policy in risk minimization mode to guide inflation towards 4% target. So basically RBI has only target of 4%, it cannot handle, it should not over exceed 4% target. Okay. Observe that high frequency food price data till March 15 show prices of wheat declined while pulses logged broad based increase. So pulses, pulses increased and wheat got decreased. Core inflation steady decline would have taken headline number towards 4% target sooner and faster but for food prices, winter easing of vegetable prices had been shallow, short lived. They observe onion, potato prices have recorded an upsurge. So onion and potato prices have been raised which leading to the inflation. Next, Norway will invest almost half of 100 billion under EFTA. Switzerland being the largest player is likely to contribute more than half of the 100 billion free trade pact India recently signed with the European Free Trade Association, that's something about your EFTA. Well, Norway, Norway will bring in the rest with Iceland and Liechtenstein contributing as well. Norway again ambassador to India May Ellen Stener told the Hindu. India signed a four nation trade pact with EFTA countries that is Switzerland, Norway, Iceland, and Lich, Liechtenstein on March 10, aiming to attract 100 billion and to create 1, 1 billion jobs and create 1 billion jobs in 15 years in exchange for tariff concessions for their pharma chemicals and minerals. So that's all for that's all for the day. That is for 20th March 2023. So these were the news major topics covered in the newspaper. So we have already given the facts. So please refer it once again. I'm sorry for the delay again. So that's all for the day. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.